So you're on your way back and it's kind of been a long last few days. Tell me kind of your overall feeling of, of um, the experience you just went through. It was incredible. It was more than I could have ever dreamed of. I, and I guess the best part of it was I left with no regrets, which was my goal. I, I did the best that I could and I even got some TV time, which was nice. <laughs> But in, in the end, I was just happy with how I did, and I couldn't have asked for more. Tell me about the no regrets. I know kind of leading up to it and, and things like that, you get all the, the coaching and kind of the uh -huh. mental preparation and things like that. What were some of the things you were telling yourself before it actually came time for competition? I just kept, kind of just kept telling myself, I really, just go out there and give it all you can, because that's all I can do. And I was really excited of how I did. I was, everyone loved my talent and my dress and everything. So it, I really was, I felt like I was popular, which is odd because you wouldn't expect Montana to be popular. These sort of things so usually goes to the more populated states. But I felt good and I, I felt like I represented Montana very well. Tell me about um, what went through your mind when you found out that you were, is it People's Choice? Is America's that, Choice, America's yes. America's Choice. So tell me kind of what went through your mind for that. And, and, you know, obviously you go in kind of trying not to expect too much, but what did you think when you found out that you were America's Choice? Well, I knew I had a lot of online support, but it's just one of those things that it's, it's, it's too good to be true. It's not really going to happen. And I had formed a really great relationship with Miss Delaware, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa Mori. And she said, you're going to get America's Choice, and when you do, I'm going to cry. And I was like, oh, come on, Alyssa. It's not going to happen. It happened. She cried. I cried. It, it was just a huge crying fest. I was just, the only thing running through my head was, oh, my gosh, Alyssa was right. <laughs> Tell but, me, that's okay. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't. No, it's just it just comes down to I was just I was shocked because you you can prepare all, all your life for this, but it's those sort of things you're never gonna be prepared for. Tell me a little bit about um, the feedback you've gotten from um, now being on that national stage and and being such a, a proud spokesperson for autism and, and autism awareness and things like that. Um, tell me a little bit about the feedback you've gotten. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. I've gotten a lot of angry feedback that I didn't make top 12. <laughs> but it, it's just everyone being really nice and telling me them how, telling me how proud I am. They they are of me, and it's just gotten to the point where it's just basically all that. I've had a lot of uh, celebrities endorsing me, and they were really happy I made top five, 15. And it's just been a lot, a lot of positive feedback. Is it kind of cool to hear, like, tell me what celebrities have been, like, mentioning? Jenny you. McCarthy, um, who was the other one? Maria Strivo. Oh my gosh, and, uh, what went through your mind? Well, I didn't really know because uh, they tweeted about me. And I, first off, even before this, I wasn't even big into Twitter. <laughs> And then, of course, you can't use cell phones during the week, so I didn't know what was going on. So my mom would constantly text me, Maria Shrivo just tweeted about you. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and lastly, um, your talent. And people have kind of been wondering and hoping and wishing that they got to see your talent. Do you have any plans of kind of unveiling your... I, um, I do plan on it. I haven't really... We have just gotten back, so obviously I haven't really set anything in the stone, but I do plan on making a video and probably posting it on YouTube somewhere because everyone really wanted to see my talent. Maybe they can get a little sneak preview of what your, what your talent it consisted of. And then, um, let's see, anything that we missed or anything that you want to say that's, um, that I didn't get the chance to ask you or, or anything like that? I just really want to thank the Miss America program for giving me this opportunity and I, this is going to turn into an Oscar nomination. I really just going to thank people a lot. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank uh, my three big support groups which was uh, Ability Path, Autism Speaks and Generation Rescue for supporting me and helping me rack up them votes. <laughs> 
and just my family and friends for being so supportive. I don't, I would have never gotten here if it was for them. So, I would like to thank the academy <laughs> and <laughs> and the state of Montana for all of the support. Okay. Um, anything that you want to get the chance to? Yeah. You know, what was it like being surrounded by all those women, big personalities? Was it intimidating at all? At first, I'm not going to lie, it was a bit intimidating, but then I realized that the Miss America thing is a sisterhood. It's basically sorority, so I was just like, oh, I have 52 older sisters now. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> so that's pretty much how we bonded. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to talk to all of the girls, but I know that all of them would be an amazing representative for Miss America, and I'm so glad for Mallory. Miss, uh, Miss New York, or Miss America, as I should say. She's going to be a great representative, and so I'm so proud of all. Overall, a really wonderful experience? Yes. This is something I wouldn't trade for the world. I was actually wondering, I saw on your Facebook, I noticed people from all over the country commented about saying, you know, oh, my son has autism, or, you know, some form, and, I mean, did you ever expect that you would make such an impact on all these people? Mm -hmm. Really quickly, I'm going to have you look at me when you Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can move. That's okay. Um, no, I never thought that, that would, I would ever be an advocate because it took me so long just to accept myself but rather than, and the fact that now everyone else is accepting themselves because I do. It's really, this is more than I could have ever hoped for. I just thought that was so cool. You had so many people. It was so amazing. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? <laughs> I'll let you, I'll save the rest of for you guys. Shout out to Cupbank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, um.